When I first wanted to really get into personal development, and I was so obsessed with trying to figure out what the world's best performers and the world's best achievers do, I was always looking for the secret. I was always looking for the magical trait they all possessed, that one skill they all learned, or the one book or resource they all swore by. But what I later learned was that there's actually only one trait more than anything that they do and that they embody. And it was a trait that I did not have that I had to learn. So in this video, I want to share what that number one trait is that I realized. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now, you know what all successful people guaranteed do? They have some kind of goal or some kind of vision that they are constantly projecting towards that they're trying to build a reason to get up in the morning. Now, in the first link in the description, I've included the free worksheet on how I actually set my own goals. If you click that link, you're going to have it delivered to your email. You'll also get an email every few days on my goal setting kind of philosophy. All right, so what are those three words that you very rarely hear successful people do? And in fact, even in small businesses where there's people that paid the lowest salary and people that get paid the highest salary, what's the difference? One of the differences, the three words that are, I don't know. Now look, I know that is very unsexy, all right? I know that, that it is not sexy. But here's the thing, you know, Look at anyone that's done anything incredible in human history. Look at Elon Musk, look at Mozart, look at anyone who's, who's been an innovator or who's done something new. There was no roadmap. Literally, no one had ever done what some of these people had done before in history, Nikola Tesla, Einstein. So there was no way they could figure out, like by reading someone else's book or by Googling, like this, there was no way. The path had never been gone down before. So they had to figure out what had never been done before. So I'll give you some examples in my own life. You know, I could have said, I don't know how to build a business. Okay. But the magic is when you replace, I don't know, or I can't afford that, or it's not going to work with how could I, how could it? So when I started building my business, I knew that I wanted financial freedom in the sense that I wanted to spend nine hours a day doing work I cared about. I didn't care at the start if I was broke or not. I just wanted to like my nine hours a day rather than be at a job. And so I said, instead of, I don't know how to build a business, I hate business, I'm not into business, how could I? How could I? Okay, I'm gonna first study what successful online businesses are doing. That was my first step. Okay, I'm gonna learn the, how they create content, how they sell products. How does it work being a YouTuber? Where does the money come from? How do I feed myself? So rather than shutting down you find a way. You know, I could have said the same thing. I don't know how to gain weight. I was super, super skinny. I'm still pretty skinny. I don't know how. There's no way. Replace that, that belief that where you just shut down any possibility. When you say, I don't know, you just shut down the dream right there. And instead you say, okay, well, how could I? How could I possibly gain weight? All right, maybe I could have one extra small meal per day. Maybe I could have a bigger meal at lunch. Maybe I could have a protein shake a day right? We say the same thing when it's money. Money is such a common one. I don't have enough money to do that, right? I'm doing a two-year herbal fellowship right now. It's $6,000. I don't have the money to do that. That is a low performer statement. What a high performer does instead is they say, how could I? How could I, right? If that's a two-year herbal fellowship, that's a lot of time where I could earn $6,000 extra. I could grow my business. I could get a second job. I could offer coaching again. I could Go work at a coffee shop if I really have to. So when you say, I don't know, you shut down the possibility of your dream ever happening. But when you say, how could I? It's again, the very most simple manifestation of the law of attraction. When you focus on what you want, which is the new possibilities that I will have to figure out, you will find them. But when you just stop it with, I don't know how to do that. I can't do that. You're immediately putting the roadblocks up. And so you find that in the people that are really successful, they've acquired this trait and most of them did not have that by birth. You build and acquire this muscle that is, I don't know how to do this, but I will figure it out. And in the era of the internet, there is no goddamn excuse 
for not knowing how to do something above all now. Now it's a matter of you have what you need to do in front of you. The roadmap is there. Now, are you going to do it? So I hope that helps you guys. I always get a lot of questions from people asking how to do something. And the reality is, yes, I could send you back a long five minute audio voice message on Instagram, or you could Google it. You could study the people that are doing it. You could emulate them, model the other people that it's working for. It's all there. It's just a matter of, will you choose the mindset of how can I do this? Cool. So again, the best way to start getting on your path to having more success, improving your life, figuring out really what you want from the future is by setting goals. And I've included the free goal setting worksheet. It's the first link in the description. When you punch in your email, you'll get it delivered to you. You're also going to get an email every few days on my goal setting philosophy and approach that I think will help you quite a lot. So you can check that out in the description. And otherwise, my most recent video is right there.